In this video, I'm going to be talking about scheduling a system in Outlook. Scheduling a system might be one of those tools that you could use when creating a meeting and you want to quickly find a room and you want to quickly invite other attendees from internal, from inside the inside organization. And you can use a scheduling assistant as well to automatically pick those things for you. Within Outlook, open your calendar and go to a date where you want your meeting to take place. And in the ribbon bar at the top, you want to click on scheduling assistant. It'll open up a separate page and you'll have here, you've got your required attendees, your optional and your rooms. And just at the top here again in the, in the ribbon, you've got refresh availability, auto pick, add attendees, add rooms and other options. If you select auto pick, it gives you an option for required people, required people and one resource, all people and one resource or all people and resources. If you select add attendees, it gives you a list from the address book who's going to be included in this meeting. So for example, if I wanted to include my HR manager, Diego, for example, I could double click him and he will be entered into the required. You can also select optional. So those are for the people that, you know, can attend if they need to. And then you also have your resources, which is your rooms down here. But let's just say, for example, I want Diego included in this meeting so far. If you need to add a room, so if you've got a meeting room, for example, you click on add rooms and you should be presented with a list of rooms in this box here. And once you do find your room, it will then be located in the resources section down here. Within this calendar, you'll also see, uh, depending on the room, its availability. So you can easily slide the time of your meeting to match that that's available of the room by using the start and end time here just above the diary. Once you've selected your rooms and your optional attendees and your required attendees, you click on send. And the meeting gets sent to the participants for you. So just to recap in this video, we looked at scheduling assistant in Microsoft Outlook where scheduling assistant can be used to quickly organize a meeting amongst internal members of staff and any meeting rooms that you may have available to you. If you get stuck at any point in this video, feel free to let us know to get in touch and we'll gladly assist you as quick as we can for you. Thank you.